Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the Morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead, Candy Roth. We are looking at a really good day. After that rain and thunder lightning rolled through yesterday, uh, we should be 80 to 82. Sunshine, a good one today for your Thursday June 27th, leading into our nighttime show, Mulcahy's Tonight. Chris Lane is back in town. We're excited. Yes, he is, and you will be front and center. Yeah, it's been a minute. What are you going to do, hang out with him before the show, on the bus, or after? What is your thing? Yeah, no, I will. I will go uh, to Mulcahy's, uh, take part in some of their fine catering backstage candy Mm, for dinner. Oh, look at you. I will go schmooze with Chris uh, prior to the show. I have to say, uh, Chris Lane is one of those artists that uh, if I had to put like a top five or ten, you know, like who am I closest with, can I call and would possibly pick up the phone and chat. You know, Chris Lane is one of them. He's been with us since the beginning. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right. So now you're hanging. You're eating. What else? Yeah, we're hanging. We're eating. We're talking about uh, life, catching up. You know, I haven't seen him in in a long time. Are you on the bus? Are you in the back? What are you doing? Well, Mulcahy's, as you know, has the huge green room area upstairs. We'll probably be upstairs. um, Gotcha. Hanging out. And uh, I got the record uh, company coming in tonight. They'll be there. So, yeah, we're going to have a great time. I'm excited. Uh, And, again, you know, a sold-out show at Mulcahy's just, you know, that's the deal right there. That's I wish yeah. that, wish that with there was a uh, sunroof. You know, we could crack open the roof. Oh, you know, now you're talking my game. Yeah, that would because it's going to be a beautiful night tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, it'd be be exciting. But uh, got to get out there and and uh, schmooze a, a little schmooze. bit. That's what you do. You're a schmoozer. I'm good at uh, you know shaking hands and kissing the babies, Candy. You know. Yeah. Yes, you are. Speaking of which. You uh, showed me a video of yes. your granddaughter Maeve yes. uh, running around, not going to sleep. <laughs> running around in a circle. <laughs> yeah, running around in pajamas, barefoot. I mm, I just wanted to give her a big hug. I know. Oh, my I know. God. She's so cute, I can't take it. Yeah. I know. But we're like, bedtime. Yeah. Uh, yeah uh, I don't think so. And she stops for a minute, looks, and says, like, yeah, no, got to run some yeah. more. Yeah, she's going to keep going. She is a, a cutie pie yeah, for sure. Is. Uh, now, what? You were about to more? You got something to no. say? All no, right. No, no, I have nothing to say. Because every now and again, I hear you take in that big breath, and I'm like, oh. I think, you know, my mother always said, think before you speak. Mm-hmm. And I don't always do that. So sometimes <laughs> I take the breath to speak, and then I think, that's what you heard. <laughs> I understand. And then you're like, nope, got nothing nope. to say. Nope. Mm-hmm. Um, I have to start planning out her second birthday gift. <laughs> she is uh, going to be two in uh, late September. Yes, September 21st. Yeah, and the day before my niece, uh, Brittany, who's on the 22nd. Love it. And, uh, yeah, so what to get for a two-year-old? I did very well for the... You did. Uh, the first... The, the memorable pictures of the elephant. I love that elephant. Yeah. So we'll That's see. Good one. All right. Mm. All right, Uncle Fed. Yeah. All right. Now, before I get to this article, it's about July 4th cookouts and what people are searching for. Uh, you have a big... July, is it July 3rd or July 4th? No, it's July 4th. It's not big. It's a small gathering of uh, Esme, her friends, a couple of close people in her world, and of course, I'm one of them. So just a small barbecue. Okay. All right. Well, you're you're ready to go. Now, uh, you may want to bring this to their attention. Uh, the company Instacart has put data together on what Americans are ordering for their 4th of July cookouts. Let me think. All Hot right. Hot dogs. No. This is a... What? This is a strange um, list. Now, Instacart is right. I'm assuming... I don't know Instacart that well, but I'm assuming it's an online ordering... I believe so. Uh, I know my kids use it. I have never used it. Okay. So this list is a little different. This is not people running into the supermarket grabbing two packs of hot dogs and some frozen burgers and walking out. So let me give you – I'll go from top to to bottom. Number one searched thing on Instacart and ordered thing on Instacart is yellow corn. Yellow. Yellow. Yellow and white, my favorite. Yellow. Yellow corn this year 
is up 380% compared to the yearly average. Oh, well, makes sense. Yeah, that's number one for 4th of July on the Instacart site. Number two is charcoal candy. Well, you got to have something to start that barbecue with, right? And I, people say they prefer the charcoal over the gas. Yeah, I mean, I think most people have gas at this yes, point. Yes, yes. I wonder what Barbecue Tom's feelings. We should interview him now that the barbecue season is here. We, You know, we might want to get his input on how to go about your barbecue, for sure. That's not a bad idea. No, I'll, he I'll really chat with him. knows what he's doing. I'll chat with him. Uh, number three on the Instacart list for uh, demand and orders for July 4th, potato salad. Yes. I prefer homemade, but if you got to order it from the store, okay. Now, I do like potato salad. I get upset at parties sometimes because salads end up not getting used and they go bad sitting out there, you know? Well, you have to be careful. If it has mayonnaise in the hot sun, you don't want to put it out in the hot sun. No. And I'm very particular with my potato salad, oh, like really? I, you know, some have a strange taste. Like, um, what is? I don't even know what I'd say is in there. It's a, like I, I just want straight mayonnaise. Like, don't put any extra things in no. there. No, I don't like store bought potato salad. At least I've not come across one that I really like. I yeah. do like macaroni salad. That is what I would choose over potato. Yeah, but you know, I think you understand what I'm saying. I think most people I do. do. Well, there's all kinds. My mother made really great potato salad. Um, that being said, I haven't had it quite that good. Yeah, got it. You know, very particular about my yeah. potato and mac salads. Uh, mm -hmm. Instacart, most important things for July Fourth cookouts. Baby back ribs is number four this year. Okay, yes, nothing wrong with them. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been craving ribs lately i gotta oh yeah seek that you out go over to <laughs> seek it out you gotta go to barbecue tom's house what do you mean <laughs> seek I, it out I, I, why, why do i automatically have to invite myself over to have ribs at barbecue tom there's plenty of pl i'm not i'm not using him for ribs there's plenty of places that make ribs oh, candy you don't just use him for ribs no uh there by the other night we went out for abby's graduation Dana got baby back ribs. Maybe hey, that's, that's what got you started. Yeah, that's what, what sparked it. Yeah, who knows? Um, these are all things. These are things that are high on people's list to order uh, before July 4th. Hot dog buns are fifth. Hot dogs aren't on the list, but hot dog buns. Well, you need the buns no matter what. I don't know yeah. why hot dogs wouldn't be on the list, but the buns are. That doesn't seem to make sense. Canned baked beans are next. yes. Bratwurst after that. I happen to love bratwurst. Frozen beef burgers, eighth. Okay. Watermelon at number nine. You would think that'd be higher on the list, wouldn't you? And yeah, I would think so. And beef patties, not frozen beef patties. Oh. So we have patties. the frozen and the non-frozen. All right. Yeah, is uh, is number ten. But that's the thing. If you, there's a demand for corn out there, candy corn and baby back ribs, you better get them now. That's enough barbecue for me right there. Yeah, uh, excited. But you know, weird this year too because July Fourth falls on a Thursday. It does. So you're gonna have a lot of people taking a short day Wednesday the third, no and doubt. then. They're off Thursday the 4th. Most people are going to get off Friday the 5th. Absolutely. And then we have our Walker Hayes show on Saturday the 6th. So a bizarre kind of week where, you know, how it falls and everything yeah, yeah. Uh, falls this year. My birthday's uh, Monday this year. What do you do on a Monday? Your birthday. Oh, the 8th, right? Yeah. July 8th. Are you going to be on? No, no. You're not? You're not on. No. Mm. no. But the boys are trying to make a plan to get together. So for all of us, and it won't be Monday, I can assure you. Probably Saturday all right. or Sunday. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Okay. Yes. You're going to have a good time. Excellent. Good. Uh, Candy, still your bald and the beautiful entertainment coming up uh, about 812. Still to come as well. Top tourist attractions in the world we'll get you that list national days good news stories and more on a pretty good day uh any uh you know remnants of that rain from overnight that should be gone we got a nice sunny day 80 to 82 chris lane tonight at mulcahy's let's hit the roads my country 96.1 
Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.